let's check out this classic Yamaha IT125. Um, super, super rare model. They only made it one year. After that, it was a 175. Think YZ125 for the woods, because that's basically what it is. It's uh, closely related to the Yamaha YZ125, the uh, motocross version. This one here has been completely gone through. Uh, we have two of them in stock. Ironically, we've been doing this forever, and I've never had another one come through the door, and I got two this month. Uh, this one was the nicer of the two. By nicer, I mean more original. It has a headlight. This one only has 282 miles on it. The other one didn't have an odometer on it, so I don't know. But it has the original headlight on there, original odometer, original bars. Um, we went through, it has original saddle, seat cover, original fuel tank. We went through the bike top to bottom, stripped it right down, uh, took all the plastics, the carb, the air box, everything off of it, the wheels. I uh, went through the whole thing, starting at the front, uh, rebuilt the... Uh, Put a new front tire, new new tube, re redid the front brakes, put a new uh, replica, original style, white front number plate on there, uh, new graphics on the headlight, new grips, new levers, there's the Ori grips, we put new reproduction graphics on there, new, new side panels with new IT125 logos on there, new rear fender, and everything works, the headlight, the taillight work, uh, the frame, all the paint was sanded down on the frame and the engine. The engine and frame were repainted. The um, carb was rebuilt. The rear tire is brand new. The rear chain of sprockets, or, or the chain is new. I believe the, the sprockets are original. I'm not really sure. That's the one it had when it came to us, but it, it's a super clean machine. Kind of weird weather. It's, it's like sunny out, but it's starting to shrink a lot. I don't know what's going on. It's kind of weird. But um, let me grab the work order just to make sure I didn't miss anything. Over the work order here, um, we put quite a bit of time and effort into it. It's uh, uh, 30 hours on the work order. Uh, it was stripped right down in the frame. Like I had originally mentioned, the wheels were, were shot with new tires. And starting at the top, the uh, compression test perfect at 165 PSI. It has a new NGK spark plug. The carburetor was removed, disassembled, and cleaned. It has a new carb float bowl gasket. Inspected, reassembled, and adjusted the carb. In fact, um, the original tech that worked on this, and uh, Devin, couldn't get it jetted quite right, so Wizard took over after it was done. and three times uh, went down on the jet size so they finally got it dialed in right and the thing will rev out like a YZ125 now but the car was on and off four times it was jetted way too fat so um, the uh, what else do we do uh, cleaned in a, and inspected the reed cage and pedals those are perfect we installed a new carb intake boot we drained rinsed and inspected the fuel tank we installed a new gas cap a new a fuel petcock assembly along with new fuel lines and new carb vent lines you can see those those are all new uh, it has fresh VPT2 non-ethanol fuel in it. The air box was removed, cleaned, inspected, and reinstalled. It has a new air filter in it. We put fresh Motul transmission oil in it. You can see it has a new shift lever on it also. Uh, we removed the exhaust system, cleaned, uh, and repainted the original exhaust system. The silencer was dismantled. The packing was removed, and that was all cleaned out and uh, uh, reinstalled. So it it's, uh, um, runs really good. Uh, it's uh, nice and free breathing now. Has a new heavy duty gold final drive chain. Oh, they did put a new rear drive sprocket on it. I thought that was original. Has a new a new black sprocket on there. A, dude, a new Dunlop D952 front tire and tube. A new Dunlop D952 rear tire and tube. Service the front and rear brake drums. Uh, cleaned and deglazed the brake shoes. Uh, has a new clutch lever, a new throttle cable, new Ori hand grips. The uh, original handlebars are, are in excellent condition. Those are preserved and repainted. A uh, new headlight harness, a new headlight bulb, a new taillight lens, new side panels, new graphics. Um, and test ride technician's notes runs excellent. Did all the fiber final carburetor adjustments. Then it went to the detail shop where, where uh, it was steam cleaned and degreased. They polished all the hardware, repainted the swing arm, the exhaust, the engine. Um, every square inch of the bike was addressed cosmetically and mechanically. And it's as close to new as you're gonna find a 44 year old 1980 Yamaha IT125, if you can even find one. Uh, there, we've literally got um, qu quite a, quite a, this one, one page, two page, three page, four page, five page, six, six page, seven pages on the work order. Uh, it's, it's, uh, you know, like I said, they took it right down and went through every nook and, I mean, it's a 44 year old classic. So that's what you have to do to do it right. And it was done right. And it runs excellent. It's ready to roll into the museum to display it. Um, and, or take it out and compete in some vintage Enduros or just ride it around and re relive your youth. If you know anything about these single cylinder, two stroke, six speed uh, DT, IT, YZ motors, uh, the, the, they're pretty much bulletproof, super easy to work on. 
and they'll run forever. I had a, the 175 version of this when I was a kid, the DT, the street legal one, and I put obscene amount of mileage on it. I think rode it daily as transportation on the road everywhere. And uh, they just run forever. This is a rare survivor that's been massaged back to perfection. So if you have any questions, give us a call, 860-454-7024. Again, 30 hours of shop labor. I didn't add up all the parts, but quite a bit in parts too between everything I mentioned. So she uh, doesn't need anything and is ready to go, man. Th thoroughly sorted out. Buy this bike and go relive, relive your youth. Or if you're a kid and you want to kick ass, classic trail bike to start with, I can't think of anything better than a, than a little 125 to get started on. Thanks for watching. And God bless America. Riding, she's going on display in the museum.